Hello, this is Jolithon Neildon with the University of Vermont, and this presentation is on extracting tree canopy from LIDAR into Finian's developer using the contrast split segmentation algorithm along with some morphological operations. For this presentation, we're going to be working within an existing Definian's developer project. Over on the left here, I have displayed some color infrared aerial imagery acquired at a resolution of one meter. This imagery is for reference purposes only. The rule set that you see here does all the feature extraction and morphological operations solely based on the LiDAR data. The LiDAR data that you see here is actually acquired at a higher resolution and with better horizontal accuracy than the aerial imagery. The LiDAR data is a normalized DSM or normalized digital surface model. In a normalized digital surface model, each pixel represents the relative height of features. So that is the LiDAR data has been corrected relative to the bare earth terrain. My first step is segmentation. In this case, I use the contrast split algorithm. You can notice that you have a bunch of options or parameters in the contrast split algorithm, but I'm going to focus on a few key ones here. The first is the image layer. In this case, I'm using the LiDAR normalized DSM. The contrast split algorithm only works on a single image layer. Now, my other settings here, what they say is that I'm using a minimum threshold of 5. So any object taller than 5 feet is going to be assigned as a bright object. And so it's going to be classified in addition to segmented to the class trees. All my dark objects, that is those smaller than 5 feet, are going to be left unclassified. I'm going to execute the contrast split algorithm here. We'll display the classification over on the left hand side. And link our windows together. You're going to notice that this is a very, very effective process, the contrast split algorithm when used on LiDAR data. You're going to notice a few things that we have to deal with. First of all, we've got some small gaps in the tree canopy here that are probably uh, unrealistic, and we want to close those gaps. And you're also going to notice that we have some spikes in the LiDAR data. That is, we're picking up some tiny features and classifying those as trees. So we're going to want to deal with both of those. That's pretty simple. We can use a remove objects algorithm to take care of that. So in the first one, what I'm going to do here is I'm finding all unclassified objects that are small, and I'm assigning them to the target class of trees. You're going to see I've removed some of those gaps in the tree canopy. Very similar process to deal with those tiny trees here. That is, I'm removing trees with a small area and assigning them to no class, so they're going to be assigned unclassified. Let's scroll over to an area here where we have some of those small trees and execute that process. What we're left here with are some very good delineation of the tree canopy. The only problem is that due to the quality of the LiDAR we have some very jagged image objects. And so if we're going to be exporting this data to a shapefile for use in a GIS, we're going to find that the shape of these objects is less than cartographically pleasing. And these jagged edges are most prevalent in these smaller trees. So we're going to go through a series of steps here where I identify those small trees. I'm going to actually grow those image objects by performing a chessboard segmentation around them, and I'm then going to perform some morphological operations using a circular filter to smooth out the edges. So first here I'm going to use a assign class algorithm to simply identify those small trees. You see those here are classified and displayed in yellow. And now I'm going to begin the process of segmenting those areas surrounding the trees with a seg chessboard segmentation. And I'm going to do this through two iterations to grow these tree canopy objects out into the surrounding pixels. So first here I'm segmenting unclassified objects using the chessboard segmentation at a relatively coarse scale, a scale of 10. I'm going to execute those. Let's go ahead over in the left hand side here and display those image objects. You can see them there. 
In my next step, I'm going to classify these image objects into a temporary clause, this temp1 clause down here, if they border the small trees. And I'm just doing that using the assign clause algorithm. Now, it wouldn't do me much good to grow the small trees into these objects because they're two cores, so I'm going to perform another chessboard segmentation here. And this time I'm going to do it in a much finer scale only within those current objects that are classified to that temp1 clause. The reason why I'm going to do this second chessboard segmentation at a fine scale and not do the original one at a fine scale is that it dramatically improves performance if I can do finer scale segmentations for smaller areas. So now I'm going to do another chessboard segmentation here, only within that temp1 clause at a much smaller object size. You can see those smaller chessboard objects there. I'm then going to classify, as I did before, those objects that border the trees into a new class that I'm calling temp2, using the assign class algorithm. Now that those objects are identified, I can go ahead and get rid of all the other temp1 objects that don't border a small tree object, and so I can use the assign class algorithm to reassign those to the unclassified class. I then can merge those unclassified objects back into the larger unclassified objects so that I don't have excess objects. Now I'm going to start with a growing operation. The first step of that is going to be the grow region algorithm. That is, I'm going to grow small trees into the temp2 objects that are surrounding them. This creates some problems because on occasions I have some unclassified objects in the middle of those small trees. So I'm going to use the remove objects as I did before to remove gaps in tree canopy once again here only for the small trees clause. Now that that's taken care of, I can go ahead and merge these small trees objects so that bordering small tree objects are considered a single contiguous object using the merge region algorithm. Now for some morphological operations. In this case I'm using the open image object operation and my mask here, so the filter if you will, is a circular filter with a width of 5. In this case the morphology algorithm is going to run this circular filter over only those small tree objects which I've specified in my image object domain and it's going to assign any features that don't fit within that filter to a temporary class temp1 so these are going to appear blue. You can see here that I've identified those edges there and so now I can go ahead using the assign cloths algorithm and get rid of those edges by assigning that temporary class those objects that are blue to an unclassified class. I'm going to just do some final operations here. That is, I'm going to merge my unclassified objects again, just to get rid of any excess image objects. And then finally, I'm going to assign small trees using the sign class algorithm back to the tree class. The end result here, as you can see, we've got a nice delineation of tree canopy. And because we've applied some morphological operations, those trees appear round, and so they're cartographically pleasing and suitable now for export to our GIS. That concludes this presentation. Please feel free to contact me if you've got any questions.